Hi guys, this is Pink Yak RC, and I'm going to do the instructional video on how to build the Edge 540. So, um, let's get started. Um, this plane, it's a 34 inch wingspan, and it's going to be coming out in two versions the 3D Pro version, and then the pylon racing version. So, that'll be pretty exciting. Um, let's see. So, this plane is really, really fun to fly. I love the 3D version. It's my favorite foam plane ever. So enough of that. Let's get building. So first of all, you're going to want to print out the plans and tape them all together. And then just roughly cut out all the pieces, all the different parts. Now this one, the 3D version, it can be equipped with SFGs or side force generators. So in this picture, if you want the side force generators, cut along the line with the blue dashes on, on the wing and the aileron. And then if you don't want them, then just cut along that line that I didn't mark. So then just tape them down to your 6 millimeter Depron. Tape them down. And then cut out all your pieces. And that's what everything should look like. Then once you're done with that, um, just hinge the ailerons and the elevator um, so just get those all hinged and then what you need to do now is install the carbon tube in the elevator I think it's like eleven and a half inches or so when I cut mine on the elevator I used a three millimeter carbon tube okay next we have the wing so for the wing I used a um, like a 32 inch carbon fiber strip and when you install it just put it up to the bottoms of the uh, aileron servos so it makes up one side of the aileron servo pocket okay now next the carbon strip um, I used I made a, a I took the excess bit off the strip and I installed it in the fuselage just to strengthen that that's optional so then there it is with the hinges and the carbon fiber installed. Then painting it. Here it is with the base coat. Doing some more painting. Then here is the bottom there of the painting. Looks pretty good. Um, then the top, Desert Aircraft DA. Um, so now that we're done painting, we're going to start and I'm going to install the motor mount, the stick mount from Hobby King. Make sure it's even and glue it into the vertical fuselage. There's the other side with glue. You're going to want to put four beads of glue on it. Next, what I'm going to do is install the elevator and horizontal stab. Slide that in through the back of the fuse. Next step is taking that trapezoid piece the rear fuselage and sliding it back in till it's flush with the elevator and just wait and hold that there for a sec now you're gonna wanna slide in the wing now this for the wing you're gonna wanna have to slide it in and you're gonna have to spread the slot a little bit and get the wing above the rear fuselage piece and slide the wing forward and then it'll lock down and it'll stay there for you that might be a little tricky nothing too bad so the next thing you're gonna do is put it up against the edge of a table and glue one and glue the top of the um, fuselage pieces together and if you notice I have weights on the elevators on the elevator and on the tip of the wing so then after I have that done I the next thing to do is glue in those front pieces that you have two of front pieces that will glue on the motor mount that's easy next you're going to want to hinge the rudder on after that just hinge that on to the vertical stabilizer with tape and then if you and then if you notice there's a real small gap for the elevator I did this on purpose and for some of you it might be fine but if you want more throw just 
bend it over and take your finger and press down the Depron to kind of compress it and flatten it on the edges so your rudder will be able to move back and forth freely. You might want to compress the elevator a little bit too. So after that we're done with the airframe. I, I really like the paint job on it. Um, little quick pictures of that. Looks nice. Okay, so airframe looks good. Now, um, first up are the aileron servos. Just install them. Uh, make sure you glue them down to the carbon strip. That strengthens them a ton. And then make your push rod and install your control horn to the aileron. Make sure everything is nice and 90 degrees so, the <laughs> so your servo has good geometry. After that, then do the elevator linkage with the further forward slot for the servo and then the rudder linkage uh, hooked up to the rudder and then really just mount your receiver slide the motor into your motor mount um, so then after that just check out um, the receiver wiring and stuff if you notice the aileron servos they're looped around a few times they go into the receiver receiver is held down with velcro um, the speed control is taped to one of the um, aileron servo wires. Everything's just kind of wired nicely. You can see it there. And then now you can see my battery location. This is a 750 milliamp hour battery. I usually use 800, and that's plugged in there. And that's pretty far forward. Um, you're going to want it to balance right about here, like maybe about an inch behind the carbon tube. You could make it a little more a little more tail heavy from here if you want it to do harriers a little easier and um but I keep it normally about right there. You can see it. So there's the finished airplane. I think it looks great and this is a really, really fun plane to fly. And if you're thinking about building one of these, just do it. It's much better than the Yak. If you ever flown the Yak, this thing just beats it in flight performance by a lot. So I hope you build one. Check it out. The plans are on my website, pinkyakrc.wikispaces.com. And the foam is from rcfoam.com. Servos from Hobbytown USA and hobbyking.com. Motor and motor mount from Hobby King. Prop from APC, and that's about it. And thank you for watching to the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed it.